Ian got some days ago number one in the entire world with this Hawk Rider Mortar control deck with a really, really cheap cycle 2.9 elixir, as you guys can see in the background. Today's video, we're gonna find out how hard this deck is really to play. If you guys should try to pick up this deck, or is it just like really, really good? Because Ian is one of the best players in the entire world. If you guys enjoy my type of content, make sure to subscribe. Make sure to also check out Ian in the YouTube description. He's an absolutely insane guy, produce absolutely insane videos, and also make sure to use Creator Good Mortar in the shop. And I would say, start with into that, and let's find out how high the skill cap from this Hogwarts Psycho deck really is. So guys, here we go in game number one, and I need to say, okay, we take a look at the elixir currently from this deck. I mean, it's 2.9 elixir, so we can kind of guess already it's one of the harder decks to play. If you guys don't have the Mighty Miner yet, I would suggest you guys use a Valkyrie or um, um, Valkyrie or the Knight, but... I just feel like, I mean, Mortar and Hog Rider is just like a really good combination right now. It's a really free-to-play friendly deck, so this is really great. I would say, I would consider this to be one of the best free-to-play decks in the entire game. There was a time where, like, Mortar plus um, Hog, like, Mortar plus Hog was always, like, a deck which was really, really good, um free to play player wise but it wasn't kind of it was really bad in the matter the last couple of months but currently it's really really good ian has a target success a ton of competitive players are using this deck and what i really like about this deck with all the minor players around most of the time or um a lot of times the opponent okay can we defend this let's go most of the time the opponent goes in for an example like a bomb tower, a cannon on top of the mall to distract it. We have the EQ there to support this one, but also like he needs to respond with similar cards to the mortar, then he needs to respond against the hog rider. Cannon bomb tower of these uh, add examples, but also um an example like I don't know, like Packer sometimes. They need to like cycle that down, they need to go for like fisherman that example to distract that, or like something really, really expensive. If, if it's like a G scale to distract that, um, or something else. And this is just really, really good. And also in some matchups. Where you feel like, okay, I'm struggling with the mortar to break through. Use the mortar on defense. It's absolutely insane. It's so, so tanky. It's one of the best cards in Clash Royale. So, and also in matchups where you feel like, okay, the Hawkway doesn't really do too much. I mean, an example. Let's talk about Lavon, right? Against Lavon, the matchup seems to be really, really tough. But if you play it perfect, you can win. The free card cycle is absolutely insane. You got the Archer cycle and just the mortar pressure. So, when you feel like opponent doesn't really have too much against... um too much against the mortar it's really insane also cheap tornado cycle decks an example him like he has like i mean i don't really think he has like a tornado in his deck so my mortar gets a ton of value but there are like some golden knight tornado decks out there where has the feeling okay he does have um the tornado he has a really relatively cheap cycle and with the relatively cheap cycle he will always be able to kind of activate the king against my hawk rider and this type of matchups at example the mortar is really great just to apply pressure and more use the hawk as a like as a bait tube to answer or like to force the opponent to answer with the, against the hawk with cards you also need against the mortar so also for sure the free card cycle with the q is still absolutely insane because right now we just use stability and i'm just going to use another archers here so i might just go in for the hawk rider here and I guess I'm just gonna go for pre-EQ here. EQ plus um, Lord kills also the Zeppies. Also, thank you so much for all the support on the monthly finals. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to make it like to go all the way. Mohammed Light was able to beat me. Mo, an absolutely insane player. So GG's for him. He really deserved this one. Also against Haziel. I need to say against Mo, I wasn't really too like disappointed to be fair because I think the gameplay from both of us was really, really good. But against Haziel, maybe I could have played a bit better. So that's unfortunate, but I mean. It happens sometimes, you don't always play at your best, and yeah, I'll be back next month, at least I got a ton of points, and as long as I go to World Finals, I'm really happy, and this will be my goal. So, thank you so much for supporting me um, in the chat at the CL stream, I actually appreciate it a lot. So, I'm just gonna go for the Mighty Man here, and as you guys can see, we don't really even play the Mortar, because he has, like, the Zappies, he has the Cannon card, which are, like, really good cards, so why would I play that? Why would I, in the hack, play my, um, I'm just gonna go for this really good defense. Why would I play my, um, okay, I think this could be an absolutely insane golden eye dash. I'm just going to go for the lock here. No re and no need to play my mortar in this type of matchup because every time I play my mortar, he gets golden eye value or he gets cannon cut value. So I'm just going to go for my hog rider here. I'm also going to go for my earthquake here. He just goes in for, pre uh, for defensive fireball and we still might get a shot. No, we do not, but... It seems okay. I'm just gonna go Mighty Mine here. I'm honestly kind of afraid of the Golden Knight. So what I'm gonna do is just gonna use an Ice Spirit now. And now I'm just gonna go Lock here. So it was a really good timing because we were waiting. I don't play Goblins because I knew he most likely will try to get um, value there. 
um, with his golden knight dash. So I'm just gonna go for another mighty miner here. I'm just gonna wait here for a few seconds and now I'm just gonna go archers low here. I know I might take some damage, but overall I would say it's okay. I'm just gonna go for an ice bird here. Perfect ice bird. I'm just gonna go log plus AQ here. And I'm also gonna immediately go in for another hog. Also gonna drop goblins here. I'm also gonna go ice bird. He needs to go defensive duel and defensive duel basically means the game will be over soon. And I'm just gonna go for the lock here. And I think this deck, it looks really, really hard to play. And for sure there's a ton of potential and some difficult matches where you need to play perfect. But I don't think it's as difficult um, to play as it seems. So if you guys want to or like searching for a new hog weather deck, which is absolutely insane in the meta, um, use this deck. And even if Archer's getting nerfed, you can still summon the Musketeer and Musketeer is also one of the best cards right now. Oh, here we go next game against Starlet. If you guys don't know Starlet, he's considered to be one of the best splashier players in the entire world, but I feel like he's not currently using his deck because it's pretty dead. So I'm just gonna go cycling my archers in the back. And he just drops his um, archers there. And I guess I'm just gonna go in for my hog rider here. Hog rider is coming down. Let's see how it's gonna respond. And I'm just gonna go in for this. And this is exactly the match I was talking about. Why we are playing a mortar and not the bomb tower in this type of matchups. You will guys see why. Because now he just used this building. So he needs to go mighty most likely. And we can get a ton of value with our archers. So I guess I'm just gonna go for my lock here. I'm also gonna use my build here. So we might get one shot hopefully. No, we do not. But he still is forced to play something against that. Which is not too bad. So, for sure, also important this type of matches where we know he has a bigger spell than ours. Because back then, like, EQ did more damage than a fireball, for example. We know, okay, we need to be careful about the poison cycling. So, for sure, trying to always pressure more to opposite lane. This time, we don't go EQ because my Hawk Rider already got touched. So, EQ wouldn't really make um, a difference. And also, smart play for him. If he would have gone for a Mortar at the bridge, um, then I would have gone, like, for Goblins to try to act activate King Tower. So, I might just go in for my archers here. Archers are coming down. I'm just gonna go. I might just go for a lock. No, I don't. Okay. Hmm. He just goes in for a poison. So I think this is like comedy fan. I'm just gonna go for a lock here and I might just get one shot maybe. No, I do not. But I have Ice Bird ready. And in this matchup, the Ice Bird is really important just to make sure to catch up the minus. You might most likely also will start going in for minor in front, a lock prediction. I'm just gonna go cycling my Ice Bird here. I'm just gonna go for the minor here. Perfect minor. And I, I even told you guys what he's gonna do and he did it. Okay. I guess I'm just gonna go for a Mortar here. Let's see. Is he gonna go for something like to. He does not. So I'm just gonna go for my Hawk Rider here. I'm also gonna go for an EQ here. EQ does a pretty solid job. And now I'm just gonna go for pre-lock here. Oh, I didn't see that coming. Okay, I'm just gonna go in for this here, this, this, this. I'm also gonna go for an EQ here. I'm also gonna go for Ice Bird like this. Great Ice Bird. But he's also playing it really well so far, so... Can't argue really against. I need to go Mortar here. Okay, I guess I could imagine going in for... Okay, I guess... I'm just gonna go for Hawk Rider here. I'm just gonna go for Hawk Rider here. I'm just gonna go Goblins. This time we didn't get the Miner pick up. But it's fine. Perfect Ice Bird placement by him. And yeah, he's playing it really, really well so far. But I still think I can win this one. I'm just gonna go for the Mortar here. Um, I'm just gonna go Archers, honestly. I'm also gonna go... Okay, that was a really good miner because the miner will also distract the, the mortar, if you guys don't know. This is like really solid miner placement. Mm. I'm just gonna go for my Hawk Rider here. I'm just gonna go for an Earthquake. Perfect Earthquake, I would say. I'm also gonna use an ability here. Good ability. I'm just gonna go for my mortar here just to pressure him. Just gonna go in for my hawk ride. I'm once again going in for my EQ here. And this time we do get a swing on the tower, which is great. Just gonna go in for my mighty here. I screw it just like this. I don't really know if that was smart brain because the ability don't really do anything. So I can just go for hawk rider here. I'm just gonna go for goblins. And he might be struggling now because now I'm just gonna go for an EQ here. I'm also gonna go in for my lock. And I'm also gonna go in for another Hawk Rider here. Ice Bird is coming down. I'm just gonna go in for this. Perfect. Oh no, the Ice Bird didn't do perfect job. I'm just gonna go Mighty Miner here. I'm just gonna go in for another Hawk Rider. Hawk Rider is coming down. Ice Bird is also coming down. We do get 
One swing this time. Did we get two? I don't know. I'm also gonna go for my boy here. Okay. I'll just like this. Okay, I'm just gonna go Mighty Miner catch. And I think we're just gonna go on for my Q here. Hawk Rider. Lock. Earthquake. Ice Spirit, and the game will be over. GG's well played. I mean, the matchup is really good for for me. He played it absolutely perfect. And you guys kind of see, I was like pressing up as a lane. And at one point, when you every time be ready for the Miner, there won't be any way for him to outchip you because your pressure is way better. For sure, Miner Poison does way more consistent damage than Hawkwire AQ. But once you're breaking through, once he's over committing, the Hawkwire is absolutely punching at his tower. And we just won the game just like that. Next game here versus Mo Yao. So, good luck to him. And I would say I'm just gonna go in for the archers in the back. And let's see how it's gonna respond to that. So, um, hmm, okay. So, he plays, I mean, this is most likely what I would assume is that he plays like a control oriented Royal Hawks deck, like Royal Hawks Fireball Bite also deck. I think which like this alien guy used against Mo and actually beat him with that. Like this Mo game. How did he win a second game? Like the one Mega Knight on the Goblin Duel, I don't know if you guys know what I meant, but was absolutely cost in the game and Mo was like really, really taking care of that, like really well protecting his Musketeers, so yeah. Okay, I'm just gonna go use my ability here because I'm just trying to also damage the Zeppies. At least we damaged one Zeppie. I'm just gonna go for my Archers here. And I'm just gonna go for my Goblins here. Now I'm just gonna go Hog Rider. I'm also gonna go for Ice Spirit here. My Hawk Rider does a pretty solid job here tanking for the archers. Kinda what I want to see. So, why did I immediately play the Hawk and not like later? I played the Hawk to pressure him that he cannot arrow that because my side was kinda awkward. This kind of disadvantage from, um, from like Mighty Miner um, compared over, um, at example, um, like Knight or Valkyrie, at example. For sure, it's also worse against Pegasus, but the main reason is like you can't really cycle. So when it dies, like in a really un un uncomfortable position, um, you're kind of struggling on defense, and you guys kind of saw that. So I had to make sure I'm pressuring with Hawk that he's not arrows my goblins because otherwise I didn't have anything on the ground to distract that. Um, good thing for us here that our Hawk Rider got some soul damage since the cycle was kind of awkward, and most likely, if nothing really weird happens. Um, my ghost will tank both of that. I mean, the, the mighty Bite will tank the ghost and the mother witch, and that our good old mortar comes down just like that. So in this type of matchup, I feel like really safe mortaring, since oh, that was close. Since he doesn't really have like he has a G Skelly, I mean, but G Skelly isn't like perfect. It's okay. But it's not like a perfect, it's like a six elixir tank, so he most likely yeah, just goes in for activate King Tom once again. I'm just gonna go drop my mighty miner. I'm just gonna go for my archers here early. <coughs> because I know exactly when he does this, I can just go in for that here. I know it's pretty simple. I can just go in for cycling another lock here. Lock is coming down. And I guess now it's time for me to go in for a hog right here. And I'm also going for a Q because I mean a Q. Cycle is always good. Q plus law kills then also I need to cycle to get soon hopefully back another mighty miner. This would be at least my dream. Okay, so I guess it's time for me to go on for a lock here. I'm just gonna go on for an ice bird here. I don't know what this G Skelly was. I guess he wanted miner maybe to predict my ability. Unfortunately for us we didn't do it, but this is kind of matchup and um, very for sure more like if you're like you want to really have the um you really really want to have the um arrows in this type of match i mean the bomb taunter in this type of matchup instead of the mortar but we're still trying our best i'm just gonna go for my mortar here i guess we need to be aggressive here because he just used like his arrows so i want to be aggressive here with my i guess we're just gonna go for an eq lock oh he missed the fisherman this is it and this is what I'm talking about, the pressure. Not just defending Mortar, not just defending the Hawk, defending both at the same time. The pressure was unreal, and with pressure, people are doing mistakes against you. So guys, here we go in the next game against Alperin, and I don't really know what Alperin plays. Um, good luck, good luck 
against him. So I'm just gonna go for the Hawkway. I think this guy is really common or like really known to play Axe Ball. Also soon there will be a new team league calling Clash. And not Clash. Clash League, man. This was like OG times. You guys remember that. But Kazuka will, will play for SK. Um, the Rose will be announced soon. But yeah, I'm excited for that. I think like team leagues, they're always a bit cool. Um, or I always um, like them to be fair. It's just something, yeah, kind of bring the OG vibes back. So I'm just gonna go for the Hawk right here, I guess. And yeah, so he's playing Axe And the great thing is we not just have like the, the EQ, the Mighty Miner, we also have the Mortar. And Mortar is so, so good against, um, against Expo. So if you ask like, what is the most annoying thing your opponent can do with, to, to an Expo player? When you're playing against Mortar, uh, Mortar Cycle, Mortar Miner Poison Control, it's about, like when your opponent spams defensive expo, uh, defensive mortars, this is always the answer you're gonna get from someone being a really good expo player because defensive mortar it's so tanky. Fireball isn't really too worth it because they will just like out chip you. And also, what is really bad about the fireballs? I mean, yeah, then your opponent is just gonna go spam your archers like behind the mighty man. You can't kill that anymore. So, I mean, the archers. Look at the archers. Well, we're getting here. So, um, I'm just gonna go for my lock here. Lock is absolutely crazy great. Um, and I think we're doing a pretty good job here. So we don't get a shot. He also has level 13 skull. And so everybody will tell me in the comment section how. Why are you happy about this win? But yeah. So the, the, the good thing, or like the only really good thing is for him, which gives him hope, is that um, back then he queued more damage than Fireball. So at least this, he has a spell cycle advantage with Fireball. Um, fireball plus um, Log Over my good old deck with eq lock so i'm just gonna go for my mortar here i'm also gonna go in for this i'm also gonna play my lock here lock is coming down i might get a hawk rider shot but i also might not get a hawk rider shot seems like i don't i'm just gonna go for the goblins here i'm also just going for my archers and i'm just gonna set up another hawk rider here and he might have some trouble this is at least what i hope so i mean so far, we keep up the pressure. He didn't play any expo yet, and I know, okay. I think sooner or later, I might just get a Hawk Rider shot or one Mortar shot. I think, like, if I get, like, one shot of this both troops, I already won the game. So, I'm just gonna go for the Mighty Miner here. I have my Q ready, so in case he goes in for his uh, Tesla, I'm, I'm just gonna go for Archers here. Okay, this time, like, this is, like, really smart of him. He just starts cycles, um, or starts cycling his spells. I'm just gonna go in for my EQ here. Um, I mean, he could go in for archers here. We don't have the Q anymore now against his um, Expo, so we kind of need to switch our placements because if I go like for a high mortar, he can't lightning that. I mean, he can't. What, what I'm talking about, lightning. He can't fireball the tower anymore. So this is kind of what I want to do. I'm also going to go now for my EQ here. I know that he can um, play the anti EQ placement with the Tesla, what he also does. But I also know I can just go in for my lock here, and I for sure want to go like for the free cut cycle soon and just try to. Yeah, just destroy him with them. I'm just gonna go for the archers here. I'm just gonna go in for my ice bird. Now I'm just gonna go for my lock here. I mean for my hawk. He gets some damage, but I also will get some damage. So he will like get a damage lead, I guess. Who is against him? He's playing it really, really well. And I mean, this is kind of what happens. And this is the kind of the matchup where you play against an insanely great expo player. It's not too easy, but if you play against a not a not a really insane expo player. It's a pretty good matchup, not gonna lie. So if you like playing this matchup on like, I don't know, like in the in the top 10k, you should always win this. But like the best EXO players, it's just like also a matchup like Lava against EXPO, right? If you ask like the best Lava players in the world, they will always say, okay, um, EXPO hard counters. But I think if you're not really like in the high trophy range, EXPO will most of the time win this type of matchup. So I'm just gonna go for my Hawk right here. I mean for my Tesla here first. And for my Mortar, what am I talking about? I'm just gonna go for Mighty here. I'm just gonna go in for my EQ. I'm just gonna go in for my lock. And I'm just gonna drop my archers here. I'm just gonna also go in for my EQ here. Really good EQ. And I'm just trying to continue spamming him, hopefully. And I'm just gonna go in for another mortar. Ice bird boy here. 
And now I'm just gonna go in for the Q here. I'm just gonna go in for Earthquake. I'm just gonna go for the Lock here. And I mean, he won this matchup, but this is kind of the thing I'm talking about, right? Maybe I didn't play perfect. He played it really defensive, won the game at the end. But I can promise you guys, if you play this matchup against not one of the best Axel players, Alpermanus, you will win this one. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I mean, to be fair, like the final conclusion, the final thoughts about the stack, it's a deck which you can really, really, or which you should learn. I mean, in different type of variations, this deck will be always viable if it's with the Queen, if it's with the Musketeer, if it's like with the Knight and stuff, the Mighty Miner. So it's a really free to play for any deck and one of the most fun decks to play and also with the highest potential. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to subscribe to my channel. Make sure to just... What? Make sure to subscribe also to Ian to never miss any content about the stack. I would say I'm out. Thanks for watching. I love you guys. Goodbye.